You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation is about regional security. And we know that the Constitution Amendment uh, Bill is actually giving uh, life to state security outfits. And uh, if this you know, passes uh, all the necessary checks in the House of Reps, we know that definitely regional security outfits like Amoteko and Ibubeagu will get all the legal backing they need to operate in the country. And we've invited uh, one of our guests here to speak about this as the founder of the African Law Foundation, Okereke Chimike. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chimike. Good morning. So, morning to you. Yeah, so be let's good, begin yeah. with the state of security in Nigeria and the importance of regional security outfits. How would you, you know, rate the, the importance of us having regional security outfits like Amoteku and uh, Ibubagu to complement the efforts of the police and, and other security outfits in the country? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Um, to frank with you, this is a, a, a right uh, step by being taken by the, the National Assembly, you know, because um, under the, the second schedule of the constitution, uh, that is the legislative powers. The federal government, federal government has the, the federal government has the legislative power, you know, to under item 45, to restrict on um, police and other government security services established by law. So, you know, before now, there have been a general clamor for the state security, uh, state police, which uh, is, is one of the major issues that coming up from the, of the, the recent, recent uh, National Assembly uh, Constitutional Review uh, conferences within the states and the region. So it is a good at, uh, effort. And because uh, obviously the federal government has been, have been the police state security actors are uh, overwhelmed by the challenge, challenges of uh, securities we're having currently. And then, um, you know, bringing up a legal framework to support um, Amatukun and the uh, Bago is the uh, right thinking in the right direction. And everybody should support that because um, that is, uh, I think that is the only way we can um, improve security. We have to localize security. We have to have a bottom up approach. And that is actually what um, the Amatakum and uh, Bibago is trying to provide. That the security of the people should, can only be guaranteed by the people. And, um, and uh, when you have such structure, you know, uh, if you are trying to, you know, use our, our uh, normal community security uh, establishment, structure it in a way and give it a, 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 a harmonized it in a way that it will go and uh, on and serve to a larger extent and bridge the gap being provided by lack of um, some in inadequacies from, uh, from the state actors. So it is um, is a, is a welcome development, wow. and we 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 hope that um, the necessary um, uh, it will pass. Uh, have you see the light of the day at the end? Okay. And um, oh, as you know, it's the Yes, the, 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 it, is, it, is, it is welcome. We, we appreciate that effort and everybody should support that. Okay, I, I want you to speak a little bit more on you know, what um, uh, powers or legal backing gives uh, these regional security outfits. Uh, does it you know, enable them to carry weapons? Um, or what more you know, the, what strength does it give them? And will that really be the answer? If you've had your own analysis on our security um, challenges across the country, from banditry to the headsmen to, you know, the kidnapping, Boko Haram and, and the likes. Um, will these security outfits, you know, be able to make any actual difference or change um, with this uh, legal backing? Does the legal backing, of course, you know, what, what level of power does it give them? Um, uh, before now... Struggling with the network uh, there for Mr. Uh, Okereke Chinwike. Um, of course, uh, the conversation is on regional security outfits, you know, maybe also extended into state policing. Um, will that really be the answer? Now that the lawmakers have, of course, decided that they might be giving them uh, full backing, mm -hmm. um, you know, will, will, that, to carry guns yeah, that. Um, will that change much um, with regards to our security situation in the country? The Southeast governors have been criticized. If you have been following conversations, uh, with regards to the security situation in the southeast. And with the police um, saying they're overwhelmed. Yes. 
They've been criticized mostly because of the setting up of Ibu Boyago and then it seemed like they set it up and they went to sleep. You know, so you set it up, you know, what have they done? In what ways have they saved lives? In what ways have they protected um, government facilities, INEC offices and police stations and all of that? Um, so would it be that, you know, Ibu Boyago was not able to function, you know, to the fullest of, you know, its because capabilities? Because of this lack because, of, yeah, you know, legal of backing. Yeah, absolutely. And same thing with Amotekun. Um, is, is it a legal backing that has stopped it from functioning? Um, if they get it, what next? You know, will they maybe, you know, be able to do better in, in every region? And does this mean that every other region, every other state, every well, other local government can have that authority to create their own security, you know, vigilante groups? So will they be allowed to spring up here and there? And really, I think the focus of this conversation should be about regulation. Because I remember uh, in January 2021, there was, there was an outcry in Oyo State, a protest over how Amoteco operatives allegedly, you know, shot a man to death. So we need to really have yeah. conversations about, you know, would they be licensed to carry arms? How would their activities be regulated? How would they work in synergy with other law enforcement agencies in the country? Um, we have Mr. Chimiki back online. Uh, thanks for, for joining us again. Please continue yeah, uh, with your you. thoughts there. Thank you. Sorry for that. Uh, the, the red switch. We um, obviously, the, the, there is a need to have a legal framework and the regulatory framework because of, uh, um, because of the nature of what we are talking about. But before now, most of states, in, uh, like in any which state and other state, has a way, um, uh, have already have a legal framework, a vigilante um, a group, you know, which the state has created and brought out and every law for them to function, and which they work together with the Nigerian police. So Anambra State has, uh, and, uh, like Anambra State has already have a well legal, legal, um, a legal framework that regulates activities of uh, um, vigilantes working together with the Nigerian police before now, and it has been very much successful. And uh, with the community members, community members with you know, we create the. Uh, the vets, the, the, the vigilante groups selected from the, among themselves uh, and contribute in their payment and other things. And the state government will also some, provide vehicle and all different arms to them. And they have been doing very well. They have been supervised, being um, uh, checkmate by the Nigerian police, who is, uh, who is actually a kind of the, um, the, 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 a kind of a, the supervising agency for, for the vigilantes. So that kind of uh, system is actually what I think by this legislative effort by the National Assembly can provide for us. Have a security service commission that will generally begin, that will harmonize all these um, vigilantes and the other, whichever name you give it, Amatakum or Abibag, whatever name, but because under the item 45 of a, a, a strict legislative list of the constitution, the, 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 the law empowers the National Assembly alone to, to legislate on police and other government security services established by law. So, which means uh, that um, they, the federal, the, for the states, the vigilantes to have the full constitutional authority to function, there is need to have uh, a legislative back okay, from the national body, from the National Assembly, giving them that necessary. Uh, regulatory framework to function very well. So, is a, as I said, it is very, very important. This is coming up and it is going to help to have a bottom up approach to security, um, um, security, provision of security in Nigeria. Obviously, like, the state actors are not doing well. There is a huge gap. The deficiencies are all over there. So, we having a security from the communities, which is actually which is what Amatekun and Ebuyagu is, is all made of, is, is going to be a kind of a panacea, you know, a solution we, that we are looking for to ensure adequate security for Nigeria. Okay. And I think right. uh, this, this is very important. All right. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, uh, so I just wanted to quickly say that, uh, in, you know, in a situation where the police complain of underfunding, mm -hmm. needing fuel to fuel the um, money to fuel the vehicles and all of that, we hope that um, we're not biting more than we can chew in the sense that we have enough budgetary allocation for these security outfits that were not, that would now be getting legal backing because they can operate without funds, can they? Well, I think they're going to be state funded. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So they're going to be state funded. The one good thing about this is actually it's going to be 
state funding. To be frank with you, if you remove the state support to Nigerian police, they will have failed both before now. Yeah. If you take it out, most of this infrastructure of Nigerian police, now is the federal government agency, comes from the state. So what is going to happen is that the state will put almost most of those support to this regional security network because of the committee level of policy it's bringing. Okay. Yeah, so would, would, you, would you also yes, suggest... So uh, sorry, uh, final question because we need to go. Would you do you think it's a good time that we maybe should start to you know have conversations about redirecting security votes that governors receive? We should maybe re, um, you know legalize and have yeah. you know a proper uh, framework with regard to security votes and redirect that into state policing and uh, for these uh, mm -hmm. outfits. Yeah, I, yeah, I think uh, this is where there needs to actually define the purpose of that security vote. Yeah, no, okay. not just uh, talking at money. Uh, but answer to them now. The, there need to be a, a security vote meant for for this uh, for the service of this uh, um, state security uh, and the uh, amateur coon and co. If if that even if it's half of that money is being projected to support this monthly uh, community level policy, we're going to have a lot to to benefit from that. So it's a very good uh, idea, and I and, and I believe that. Uh, so the, the those that are behind it are thinking well. Right. And uh, it is something we need to support. And that is going to help us to improve security at the, at the community level. We are most of all this is happening. All right. Um, Okiriki Chinwike, uh, thank you very much for joining thank us this you. morning. And uh, good morning thank to you. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, thank you. Sorry for the initial <laughs> it, it happens. Thank you very much. Yes, um, I, 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 you, you know... Me. I would once again, you know, like that we bring back the security vote conversation, you know, on, on this platform. You know, haven't, haven't, you know, extended conversation about it. You know, it is undocumented. Governors do not have, you know, to declare what those funds are used for, and that that is very, very unfair. Uh, if you continue to receive millions and millions, hundreds of millions of naira every month, it should, you know, be properly audited, um, and not just, you know, like a bonanza, like he described every every month. Um, that, that should be where the support for uh, regional security outfits should come from, vigilante groups, um, funding for vehicles, for research, for you know, what, what research on their level. Um, absolutely. Mm. And, and we'll, we'll continue the conversation regarding security with a declaration by the IGP um, and tinted um, glasses, basically, in the country. Do stay with us.